folks. He is the former front man of one of the greatest bands of all time, the Gap Band, and Grammy-nominated R&B singer-songwriter who has repeatedly topped the charts. Now, just recently, BET honored him with a Lifetime Achievement Award, and he's here with a new CD and a book. Please welcome my longtime friend, also known as Uncle Charlie, Charlie Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, look at you. <laughs> Love you more. Yeah. Tyler, man, we go way back, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember the first time, I think maybe it would have been the first time we met. We were, I think it was a Gap Band, and I, you was performing, we was performing somewhere or something, and, and we were sharing a dressing room, and my brother Robert didn't know we were sharing the dressing room. And he was like, who is that? Who is that, man? Who the hell are you? Who are you? And he kept going and going. Then you, you was putting your pants on. You stopped and said, man, get your brother, man. And he, <laughs> he just kept going. I said, Robert, he's a comedian. He's a comedian. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's going to go. He's going to have the last laugh. Yeah. He didn't understand it. Yeah. He didn't understand it until you lit into him. And I was like, I got him. I got him. I just yeah, yeah, the yeah. Because yeah. you was about to go hard on him. No. Said, and I was finna get a mic and go out on stage. You, you ain't finna believe what I'm finna do you, Robert. <laughs> yeah. I got him out of there yeah. safe enough, but I've always said, man, I appreciate Steve not going hard on it, but you was about to let him have it, man. Yeah, man. That was funny. That was a long time ago, That was a long ago, time ago, man. man. That was funny, man. Your story, man, yeah. is an amazing story yeah. of grace and mercy and, and recovery. Oh, gosh. How, how, how bad had it got for you, Charlie? Ooh, you finna make me cry now, man. It's like... <sighs> Sleeping under trucks. Cars, parking lots. Then I'd have a, a shopping cart with some plastic around it, um, a brick for my pillow, and a um, piece of carpet. That's what I laid on. How long is this going on? A couple of years. Now, this was after? After the Gap Band success. Oh, yeah, this was after. Yeah, yeah. What was the turnaround for you? You know, first I was just sick and tired of being sick and tired, man. I was just tired. And, and I saw a cousin of mine who came to Hollywood, and I think they was looking for me. She was looking for me. And uh, she saw me, and she immediately just started crying. And she looked so good. We used to get high together. And so I said, give me a hit. She, she just was crying so, so bad. And she just hugged me for, you know, at least 30 seconds, and she wouldn't let go. And then she, when she let go, she looked at me and said, cuz, you dying out here. I was like, I ain't dying. And she took out a mirror and showed me myself. I was like, whoa, who the hell is that? And it looked so, I looked so bad. My skin was so patchy and dry. And I'm a grown man. And I was weighing 115 pounds. So she had a friend uh, come get me. And uh, when I got into rehab, um, First day or so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I guess my body's detoxing, and, and every time I try to get ready to hit my little stuff, I pull it out and try to hit it, I hear some footsteps down the hall. And then and that footsteps was the counselor who stayed across the hall, and I put it back up. And every time he'd leave, I'd go and I'd listen, and I'd get my stuff and try to hit it again. I hear some more footsteps. And this time, this was a lady. And she was like... Um, you know, you've been here a couple of days, and you know, you're doing a lot of sleeping, and you're not participating in class, and I want to see you a little later in my office. And I was like, yes, ma'am. And so, anyway, I, I, I go to her office, and, um, and she was like, what are you going to do when you get out? I mean, we, you know, I, I know your cousin, and uh, she was in my program, and, you know, we got you in here, and, you know, it was like, what you going to do? And then I just broke down, started crying, because I said, I don't have nowhere to go. And so... said, I'll help you. I won't let your feet hit the ground. She got me a house, filled it up with furniture, everything, man. This woman, I didn't know for Adam. And when I got ready to graduate, that woman took me to that house, and I said, ma'am, I cannot live in this house by myself. 
She said, I don't know what the hell you looking at me for. <laughs> I can't do this by myself. I ain't gonna be able to. So I asked her to marry me. It's been 20 years. I never look back. I ain't never look back. I swear. All this is in your... Wow. Yes, yeah, in my book. This man, since that day, has had more number ones than he had when they was hot. Yep. One of the great stories. He's got a new book out called I Am Charlie Wilson. That's in stores coming up soon. The new CD is called Forever Charlie. Yes. And everybody in the audience is going home yes. with a copy today. Yes. yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Wilson. <laughs> Uncle Charlie Wilson.